Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're joined by Andy Colehep from Transitions Counseling, licensed therapist. You're just so peaceful. I love it. And this is so oh, nice. important right now for people yeah. to be able to be around somebody peaceful and unload, unpack. There's a lot going on. There is, there is. Well, that's nice you would call me peaceful. I haven't been you labeled are. with that much in my life. Is that sure. right? No, you know, I got into recovery when I was 50. I quit drinking, and, and I've been in recovery for 20 years, and I learned to slow down and realize that there's a slower lane and there's a better way to do this. So my nature is still kind of running and gunning and take no prisoners, or as an old friend of mine said, you know, trample the weak and hurdle the dead. But uh, I've learned not to let those things that are in me dominate things. Yeah. And so the only thing that would ever calm me down would be alcohol, mainly. And it was the solution until... It wasn't the solution. No, the girl I was living with who died a couple months ago oh. after 47 years, yeah. Uh -oh. She said, if this is who you want to be, it won't be with me. So I had to balance that. Coors Light or my wife. Coors Light or my wife, mm. you know. And uh, thank God uh, <laughs> I made the right decision. But when you're in addiction, yeah. you don't see that as being, like, absolutely absurd. That you would You would talk about you know, whether that was a decision. But at any rate, well, no, she I saved think, my I think life, basically. folks get to that yeah. place of they can't, they can't live with it, they can't mm -hmm. live without it. It's a very, it, it's a very dangerous place to be, but it, it also is. has a window of opportunity. Right. Right? So um, I was in, in business in Pennsylvania. We had a hardware store and a granite shop, and it crashed a little bit, and I said, I want to be a therapist. So at 60, I went back to school. I love it. And am doing this now for about 10 years on the island. Oh, and that's uh, I do a lot of addictions, but I do a, a, a lot of everything. Sure. But. Uh, Y'all are right there on Main Street. Right on Main Street okay. in Hilton Head. But, you know, here's the thing is with, with everything, and it doesn't matter the drug, I mean, it doesn't, just doesn't matter. It could be shopping, it could be yeah. gambling, it could be cocaine, it could be alcohol. But the process of recovery is all the same. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of it's based on the 12 steps of recovery as designed by Bill and Bob yeah. in the 30s. It's yeah. still a wonderful gift from God, those 12 steps. And a lot of people don't like the God thing. So, we, you know, we just work around that. But here's the thing is that it makes you look at your life and change your life. In other words, so at 50, you know, I'm all full of myself and I say, well, that's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes to me and they says, well, that's just the way I am. Well, then, okay, we're done. Because you have to be open to changing who you are and sure. risking who you are. Yeah. Because you think like I'm I'm this way, but you don't have to be that way. Especially if someone living with you that loves you, your family, your so your like, spouse, I can't your do this. I can't boyfriend do this the and way girlfriend. It is. Yeah. The people that love you don't want to be with you, or they're irritated. You know that's a good indicator. Right. You know, well, people at parties aren't complaining, but who's complaining <laughs> behind closed doors, right? Yeah. That's yeah. the key. So if you honor those relationships and realize how precious they are. Yeah. And realize that those people love you. And, you know, sometimes we think that, you know, well, I can find somebody else, but you really can't. But so changing COVID is, is it's all awful. My wife dying was awful. Mm. But in, so now I have this weird world of trying to find who I am now and who I am, who am I without her helping me make decisions and helping me in recovery and, and that sort of thing. I so, don't think you're alone in that. I think there are a lot of people trying to figure out decisions and, you know, like you were saying about that need for introspection, you know, sometimes it's not, it, sometimes you need to be led through that because yes. you, can't, you can't think yourself out of the situation you're Perfect. in with the same sick head you had that got you there, <laughs> right? And yeah. then you can't- Your best thinking got you there, right? Your best thinking got yeah. you there, voila. And then- So you gotta be coachable. Exactly. You gotta be coachable Open. and surrender, the whole surrender thing. Mm. But a lot of people have addiction qualities, and I say that sincerely because they're creatively, wonderfully talented people. Yeah. And uh, they don't want to surrender. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. And I just go, wait a minute. You, you, you can be the dog on the porch. You don't have to run with the big dogs. You can pull this back and realize how when you bring other people into your life, how much better your decisions get. But when you have addictive qualities, you want to get it done now. Sure. And, you know, I tell you, the, the scenery... Mm. You really get to appreciate the scenery from the slow lane a little bit yes, better. Yes, yes, yes. You know, right? I, I don't know anybody that quit using and successfully got into recovery that regretted it, that their life got worse. In other yeah. words, oh, I quit drinking and man, my life got worse. Nobody. Yeah. You Nobody. know, now I couldn't ask my wife to quit drinking because she drinks wine with her sisters and her girlfriends, and that's what it's all about. I would never do that. I mean, I, that is just sacred to her. Yeah. But she could drink a half a glass of wine. 
What's with that? Yeah. She's but a anyway, right? what do, I she's mean, a normie. It, so I think this is a wonderful opportunity for people to reach out, get in touch with you. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, clearly, you're just like, you're Thanks. so open. You're, you're a safe person to right. unpack some yes, of this stuff you, with. Thank you. So let's get in touch with Andy Kolhep. It's been so nice spending some time with you. Thank you. Um, thanks for watching Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon, and we will see you next time.